Welcome to Flying Hammer DIY. Today we're going to go over how to modify a PVC drain pipe rough in connection. Following demolition of this kitchen with a large commercial sink, we had to relocate some of the pipes in the wall to accommodate the new sink that is being installed in the church sacristy. The left side of this specialty sink is sometimes called a piscina. It has a special drain that goes directly into the ground outside. It is used for disposal of holy water and cleaning of any sacred vessels used during the service. The right side is a normal sink that drains directly into the sewer system. To accommodate the new sink configuration, we need to remove the Y with the double-ended connection and put a single connection in about a foot over to the right. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this pipe off um, to make a bend. So I'm going to put it right in the middle. Okay, I'm going to use a Sawzall. It does have a metal cutting blade on it with very fine teeth. Um, idea is to try to make the straightest cut as possible. We just take our time going through. Cut this piece off over here. This one we don't care about as much. So, this right. throw it away. Let me get this piece out of there. Okay, as you can see from our cut, we've got all these little burrs. We need to make sure those get all cleaned off. All right, so just this old rag. Gonna go around, knock them off the best we can. Right, the inside is kind of straight. So what we're gonna do is we wanna round it off a little bit. So I have this little tool, uh, it's got a little blade on it, makes it easier to do the insides. Okay, so you're just kind of going around. Kind of round that over. Um, you also can use a knife for that. Again, you don't want to take too much off, but you're just kind of cutting the edge off a little bit. Okay. Um, or the best thing is actually sandpaper. So just run the sandpaper around there. And the same thing around the outside a little bit, making sure it's smooth. And there's no burrs. Excellent. All right. Clean out some of the junk again. It's in the drain. All right. Um, now, what we're going to do is we're going to put a little elbow on there. And then I have a short piece that's going to stick out here. Um, now, we want the water to run back so we can make sure it's angled up just a little bit. Doesn't have to be a whole lot for the water to run in, down, and then it'll go down into the sewer line. All right, um, now we're going to glue up the pieces. Um, we're just using a uh, purple primer and then a uh, medium clear PVC cement. So you need to prime it first and then thin. make sure it's a PVC um, cement, there are different uh, ones for different types of pipes. This is PVC pipe uh, that we're doing. So we're going to make sure the fittings, these are all clean out here. All right. And I'm going to fit that right in there. So first thing we do is we're going to prime. These have brushes in the cap. And we don't need too much. You can kind of squeeze a little bit off. And then we're just going to run it around the inside here. You see priming that real good. And around the outside. 
of the pipe. All right. We're going to come along with the cement. Same thing. Sometimes the brush has a lot on it. This is a new can. All right, and we're just going to run that around in here real good. Get a good and around on this part. Okay, and then we're just going to push these pieces right together. Now we push them in, it kind of comes apart sometimes. So put it in, twist it, and then hold it. That's about all you need to do. Use a little paper towel if you want to clean off any excess. Sometimes you overdo it and there's some dripping just to make it look a little nicer. Okay. Um, that's that fitting. Now we need to hook it to um, over here. Now I stuck a cloth in there because there is sewer gases um, coming out. You can actually smell them. Um, this goes down and going up um, is actually a bent line. And that goes all the way up to the ceiling um, and out, connects with some other ones, and that goes out the roof. And that allows air to come back down as the water is going out. Air come down to replace it. So vent line is a very important thing to have. All right, so we get a letter view here. Mm -hmm. uh, so same procedure on this one. Primer around here on the inside of the fitting and around the outside here. And some of the PVC cement around the inside. And around the outside there. Again, we're going to push it in, hold it, and make sure we get it to the right angle that we want. So I can twist it a little bit, but then I want to make sure it's angled up a little bit. All right. And that's it. Again, you can wipe a little bit here. There's no drips. Okay. And uh, what I have is a cap. Uh, nothing fancy about it. I am not going to glue this on, though. I'm just going to place it on the end. That will keep the smell of the gases coming out. And then when we go to install the cabinet, these will be removed. We cut the hole, slide it on, and then make the final connections for the sink. So there you have. We just transferred from a double to a single, and we're ready to go.